Welcome to Founders Club, the show for real estate entrepreneurs. Look, you already have in the first six weeks of this crash, of this economic, I I don't even want to mention the Wuhan, because this is way worse than Wuhan. This is worse. I'm going to tell you everybody right now, I'll just, you can, you can, you can do whatever you want with it, but uh, the economic impact of this event is going to be worse than uh, a a million people dying. Big prediction. We have, you're going to have 1.5 billion people in the world out of work because of this event. And do you think that's going to be temporary or do you see that being a longer term challenge? Well, l- l- let's just talk about it. Okay. Okay. Number one, we- we're going to have maybe, maybe 200,000 people die in the United States. I think we're at 85,000 right now. Let's say if it goes to 200,000, let's say if it goes to 300,000, 600,000 people last year died of cancer and um, heart disease. By the way, that happens every year. We didn't shut the economy down because of it. Right. Okay. This thing that's going on right now is, is, it, it is beyond, it is fabricated. Okay. Now, you probably weren't a closing last year if you listed enough homes where the seller died or the buyer died. It killed your deal. How do you put the deal back together? You probably put it back together with somebody else. You need a full pipeline, okay? So the answer to all problems is a full pipeline. Your pipeline just got squeezed, okay? You had a pipeline of people. Let's say you had 100 people, buyers and sellers in that pipeline. 40% of those sellers are saying, no, no, I'm not going to sell now. That is it. That 38% of the homes are being removed from the marketplace right now because sellers are like, I'll never get my number now, so they take it off. That doesn't mean they're not still in your pipeline. And it doesn't mean they're not still sellers, by the way. If they were a seller in February, they're still a seller today. Great distinction. Yeah, now your pipeline, your pipeline had buyers and sellers in it. Airbnb wasn't in your pipeline in February and March. They are now. Every Airbnb punk in the world is a seller today. Because they were going to be Airbnb millionaires. I'm a real estate investor. I know I'm going to be the best in the world. And I do. Now they don't have a tenant. Those are going back to foreclosures and banks. In your pipeline, you need to be adding Airbnb and you also need to be adding banking relationships, foreclosures, and distressed properties. You got to go develop those relationships. Uh, some of the top real estate agents in the country are so busy with deals, they don't have the time to do this. So this would be the opportunity for a young investor. And you got to be able to do two and three and four things at one time and stay focused on what you're doing. So you can't do that, by the way, if the two or three other things that you're doing have a dog involved. My, my wife just went and got two kittens uh, and brought them to the house. I'm like, dog, you didn't do it. You know, you didn't do it, did you? And she's like, yeah, I did it. And I'm like, in 2008, when the economy crashed, we had two Great Danes, two chocolate labs, and a parrot. We got rid of them because so you- I could not manage the activities, bro. Like I have to be, I have to be focused until you get super successful, until you get rich, until you get into affluence and prosperity. You need to be like, like focused. I love that. And, and so right now. The top brokers, if they have a full pipeline and they're making Joyce Ray in in Beverly Hills, she makes a lot of money every year working her pipeline. She doesn't have time to move to the Airbnb and to the distress and to the foreclose. It'll probably come to her because nobody else went and secured that business. So again, that's, I started this by saying there's going to be a housing crash in America because with every uh, reaction, with every, what, what, what's it called? What's that old thing? With every action, there's a reaction, right? Every Equal or opposite reaction. Exactly. For every, whatever that is. Uh, say it again, <laughs> man. You're good at that. Uh, for every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. So I when think. I think there's a crash. Don't quote me on that, though. It, but it sounds great. Uh, <laughs> uh, for every crash or for every up down, there's some opposite reaction. And, and uh, you, but you got to change. One, you're going to, this is a mental game. It was a mental game before Corona. It's even more mental now. Uh, You know, this idea that I can be successful. Dude, it's completely fabricated. I I, I should not be successful. I grew up in Lake Charles, Louisiana, single mother, five kids, no money, clipping coupons. I shouldn't shouldn't be one of the, the, Forbes called me one of the most uh, uh, influential people to follow uh, on social media. I'm a, I got out of college, couldn't get a job. 
sold cars, okay, because nobody showed me real estate. I have almost $2 billion worth of real estate today. I remember when I couldn't make a payment on an apartment and it was two seventy five dollars a month. It's amazing. So again, it's the middle game, but it's not just the middle game. You got to have strategy two and three, you got to have a vehicle that's big enough to win because you can do the first two. You can have the right attitude and you can have the right strategy, but if you don't have a vehicle that can propel you to Mars, you're not going to get there no matter how much you think about Mars or how much you draw spaceships. I need the vehicle that can carry me there. Real estate's a freaking phenomenal vehicle. To get all the new episodes of Founders Club, subscribe now.